That crime scene was just brutal and evil and just ugly. Linda Slayton, remembered as a loving mother, was found dead in this home in 1981. It was a case that went cold for nearly four decades. When two brothers who weren't sure whether their mother's murder would ever be solved got a chance to solve. I freaked out, started crying. I saw the whole crime scene right then and there as a 12-year-old kid. I'd have died that night trying to save my mom, but I didn't hear nothing. And it's so hard to live with that. That one case just bothered me the way I saw that lady. He entered that window and he went out of that window. And that's where I got his print from. Son of a bitch was walking the street. He's out free. We truly felt that the person that left his DNA behind was the person that actually killed her. The boyfriend of Linda. Certainly high on the list. Her ex-husband uh, was another one. All you need is a DNA match. A hit. That's all I needed, a hit in the database. And the further we went, the longer we went, the more discouraging you got, the hope started fading. You can't lose your mom no worse than we lost our mom. It's a nightmare I wouldn't wish on nobody. I love you, bro. Now, we can't undo the tragedy. We can never make up for what happened. The best outcome is that they get justice. I may, I may die never know who did this, you know? Loved ones, and especially children of a murder victim, they need those answers. And I remember how many detectives we had to go through over the years. We was going to let them know we're still here, and we want to we know who killed our mom. 38 years after this brutal murder, I just felt like it never would be solved. 38 years of more than two dozen detectives coming up empty. Every turn, I was striking out. How long did it take you? Chromosome three, chromosome four. To solve this crime. Two days.